Hey everybody, this is Meyer. Welcome back. In this video, what we're gonna be doing is creating this squelchy acid sound that's gonna sit underneath the main lead and the bass and kind of sit on top of the mid bass. And this will just give the track some drive and some energy. So this is what the sound sounds like. And with the rest of the elements. All right, so to go ahead and get started, as usual, we're gonna go ahead and duplicate the initial patch, and I'm just gonna call this acid. And I like making these kind of green. And to start with, I'm gonna take the sub pad MIDI and just do this and assign the color because usually what this is gonna do is follow the root note of the chord. And what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna start by working it out in this section here where we just have the kick, sub bass, and mid bass playing, and then we can add it with the chord changes later. So right now, just super simple. And what we're gonna be doing for this sound is we are gonna be using the arpeggiator and maybe the step sequencer, but probably not. And what I wanna do is find some sort of rhythmic pattern because what we tend to do with these acid sounds is we, you can do either one shot acids or these continuous. And what I'm gonna do for this one is a continuous acid where we arpeggiate the notes and we play with the filter. And pretty much the basis for all these sounds is a bandpass filter that is, is arpeggiated with different notes. So let's just hear what it sounds like now. This should be with 16th notes. And we wanna get a good kind of rhythm going, a syncopated rhythm. And I'm thinking about kind of following what the top is doing, which is kind of like this. Sounds good. Let's start by dropping this down an octave, setting this to two voices, and let's turn the detune quite a bit down. And let's go ahead and solo this now. And we are gonna bring in oscillator two as well. Um, this one's down an octave and this one's just gonna be where it is. And I'm gonna detune oscillator one and oscillator two off of each other. So oscillator two is up three. Sorry, oscillator one is up three and oscillator two is down three. So it kind of balances each other out, both of the two voices. And I'm gonna go ahead and go to envelope three and bring this down quite a bit. And I'm doing this so that we can get this initial click for each sound. And most of these sounds, we use a bandpass filter for them. And the trick is using a bandpass filter with high resonance going through distortion. Now for these acids, I like either these hard modes or tube three. So let's start by bringing up the resonance. And it may help to bring these up in volume. And we'll just go ahead and start adding this distortion. We'll 
Once again, I'm gonna bring up this low cut so we're not distorting the super low end. Sounding good. Let's move on to the delay. Um, I'm going to start this off with a ping pong delay of dotted 16th notes. Just three, sorry, dotted 8th notes was just 3 16th. And this delay is what really helps that sound really just kind of bounce around a lot. That's exactly what we want it to do. Let's add some reverb. We don't want too much delay in this color. We are going to add a little bit of pre-delay. I actually like having this high quality mode off on the distortion. I think it makes it even edgier and grittier. And one thing we can do is we can add another filter, um, which would kind of be doing the same thing, except this would be at a different, basically a different point. So I want these filters to be in parallel, which means that sound will go through filter one and it'll go through filter two. So if I bring the balance to the middle, this means it'll go through both filter one and filter two, and this balance will control how much of each filter we want. And if I hit this link button, both of these cutoffs will move at the same time. So hopefully you can hear both filters acting. If I'm so over here, it's just going to be the left filter. Whereas what's in the middle, and this controls the, the sort of distance between the two cutoffs. Sounding good, we're going to go ahead and turn on the multiband compressor. And that's loud, so I'm going to turn the overall sound down on the mixer. And let's look at the EQ. We may want to take out some of the low end. Once again, because this generally plays with the kick and sub, we don't want it interfering. boost the high end a little bit. Once again, we really want this to be very edgy. And for this, we may boost the low mids just a hair. Let's hear where this sounds good. And 
And I think what I want to do here is for cutoff one, I think I want to map this to an LFO. Now we can of course modulate this by mapping this to mod wheel and then modulating the mod wheel. But for now, let's just map this to LFO one. And I'm going to turn this, I believe this is in mono mode so that only one, it's not per voice, meaning this doesn't end up re-triggering each time. I'm going to set this to a sine wave and I do want to, I do want to sync it. And I think I want to sync it across two bars. So let's just try bringing the amount up and hear what it sounds like. Sorry, I do want to, you have to hit the sync button for this to work. And what this symmetric thing can do, we can push this up so it's always modulating the cutoff in a positive direction, whereas here it would actually be going negative. Whereas when it's up here, it's only moving it up. And when it's down here, this is at like the minimum point, which would correspond to here. So we just set the minimum, make sure the sim is up all the way, the symmetric offset, and then it'll always be modulating in a positive direction. <laughs> Sounding good, let's go ahead and mix this in with the rest of our sounds here. I'm gonna start with this really low and then just bring it up. I am gonna take the sidechain compression from the pluck and put it on here. And actually, I'm realizing here that I would prefer it not to map it this way. Instead, what I want to do is map it to the mod wheel. So what I'm going to do is map cutoff one by right clicking and dragging to the mod wheel. And as usual, we want to map this to the lowest point we want it. And then just basically map the highest point when the mod wheels open. That's a good range. So what I can do is add the mod wheel here and we can just add the automation by showing an, um, modulation a new lane and just basically draw it in how we'd want to see it. Bringing the threshold down just a bit to add a little bit more sidechain compression. And let's hear what it would sound like here during the main section. Sounding good. In the next video, what we'll do is create some sweeps for the main section of the song and for kind of this outro section. Thanks for watching.